Hi, Neil Comparetto here with Comparetto Comfort Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how to make this DIY box fan air cleaner in my DIY studio. Hopefully the rain will hold off. So let's go over some of the features that makes this box fan air cleaner a little bit different. So it's, it's a standard box fan that we can get at any hardware store, but it has four filters instead of one, and it has a cardboard base, base so it's installed in a vertical position. So why four filters instead of one? Well, whenever you have um, a box fan and you impose a restriction, which a filter is, an airflow restriction, the amount of air that it moves dramatically drops. So by having four filters instead of one, we have a lot more filter surface area and we're able to move a lot more air and filter a lot more air. So I installed it in a vertical position and that's so that if there are any pollutants or anything on the floor that we're not disturbing it, you know, letting it stay. See a lot of fans that are um, installed uh, horizontally. They can kind of just blow any of those on the floor and reintroduce them into where we're gonna be breathing. And also what's nice about this fan, it doesn't require an additional base. So it, the fan, the filter is the base itself. So you just take it where you need it, put it down and plug it in. That's what makes this one a little bit different from others that I've seen. And let's go ahead and uh, rewind and I'll show you how we got to this point. First thing you'll need is a 20 by 20 box fan. What you have to do is pay uh, attention to where the speed control, the on off is. We're going to be attaching the filters to the suction side. So make sure that this control is not on the back side. You'll be needing four 20 by 20 by two MERV 13 air filters. You'll need a box, just a, a large piece of cardboard, something that's larger than 21 by 21 and a half. You'll need some kind of tape. I'm using this uh, duct tape. Uh, other types of tape will work, I guess, depending on how much you'll be moving this around, how durable you want it. Tape measure, some type of knife to cut the cardboard, a square to help when you cut the cardboard to lay it out, a marker, again, for the cardboard and, and cutting it out. And I have this tape squeegee, which is optional, not necessary, but but nice to have. First, what we want to do is cut out the cardboard box. So to know the dimensions, we'll measure the filters. It's going to be 21 and a half by 21 and a half. Let's go ahead and set these aside. Now I've already made a few of these, so this is not necessarily ideal, the uh, handle. So what we'll do is we'll just put a couple pieces of tape over it. This is uh, square enough for our purposes. So we'll just go off of that. I believe this box is 22 by 22, so it fits well for what we're trying to do. So measure at 21 and a half, 21 and a half. Try not to drop your marker and go ahead and make a straight line. Now we're gonna have another dimension, 21 and a half by 21 and a half. This is nice, a nice guide. Find that cardboard boxes are remarkably square. So we'll just go ahead and just cut along that line. First time is just to score it, second time is to cut through. It's important to have a sharp knife. The cardboard will dull a knife rather quickly, so I would not use, you know, if you have a nice pocket knife or something, I would try not to use that. All right, so now we need to go 21 and a half in this direction. Now we have our platform, cardboard platform cut out. So what I like to do whenever I'm doing something like this, uh, taping stuff together, I like to make several tabs just to kind of hold stuff together for me. So we'll make roughly do eight of these or so, and uh, it'll serve as like a helping hand. All right, you want to also pay attention to the direction of airflow. So the direction of airflow is this way. This is going to be the outside of the filter box. And when you line these up, they're going to stagger. I don't have a better term for it. It's going to be like this. So it's gonna be 21 and a half by 21 and a half square. So you just wanna make sure this is lined up. I'm kind of putting significant amount of downward pressure on it. And I'm also pulling it together here. And then we'll just get a, a piece of tape just to, to hold it in place. Just rotate it. Now pay attention over here. So you do not want it like this, for instance, where they're both on the outside. You want it staggered. 
Again, same thing, downward pressure, pulling it in, get a piece of tape to hold it, rotate, and this one will line up like that. Okay, so now we have our box, and what we need to do is just go ahead and finish taping all these sides together to um, give it some strength and to prevent any air from bypassing. If you have a squeegee, this is where you would go ahead and use it. Uh, tape is pressure sensitive, so this does actually help it to stick. It's taped together. Now we can install the base. It doesn't matter uh, which side it goes on. One side will have the base, one side will have the fan. You wanna make sure it's lined up relatively well. And what I like to do is just have a little bit of overlap on either side on these corners, about a half inch to an inch. Try to get the tape somewhere in the middle-ish. This will be the base, so if at all possible, try to keep this part, the, ex the excess tape from being on this part, give it a more stable base. There you go. The base is complete. Notice all the arrows are facing in because air is gonna come in and then go up. Now we're ready for our box fan. Again, it's very important that we attach this filter box to the suction side of the box fan. Easiest way to tell that is to plug it in, turn it on and see which way the air is going. So we want the air to go this way. Line the box fan up. As you can see, this fan fits very well to the footprint of this filter box. And again, we can use some of these tabs if you have any extras to just kind of hold it in place. Oh no, you just got a shot into the garage. It's a disaster. So these corners, what I'd try to do is get a piece and not worry about taking care of the corners with this piece. For this model right here, we have to kind of navigate the cord. So what I've, I've been doing is kind of take, uh, take note of where it is, rip the tape a little bit, kind of get the tape around it, and then go back with a piece over it. You're also going to want to take care of these holes. Uh, it's just air bypass. Not the end of the world, but why not? Now we can do our corners. What you want to do is get a piece, you know, six inches or so, get two pieces, double them up, and then go ahead and apply it. Make sure you work it in nice and good. So we'll go ahead and make three more of these. There you go, all done. See, it's pretty durable, it's pretty stable, and uh, it has lots of filter surface area. Okay, it's that easy. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you found this useful, and I'll see you on the next video.